How are you doing, guys? So, summer's on its way. You know, house stock might be right when they say winter is coming. They're always technically right until winter is actually here. Then winter's not coming, it's here. But I'm also right when I say summer is coming, yeah? The weather's getting decent. The frost has went away. We've passed the last frost section. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I've already got potatoes in the ground. That say that the frost better be gone, else my potatoes aren't going to do too well. But anyway, without further ado, the build that is needed because summer is coming. The sun's out, everybody's happy, that it's nice weather, I can get out and about, I can go to all these lovely places. I want to take pictures, yeah? I want pictures with all my waistline gear on, I want my big crossbow, I want my helmet. I want to make myself a chest plate, yeah? No matter what goes on in the waistline, you're going to want a chest plate. You don't want to get shot in any of your important bits. So I want this fist protected, yeah? So what I've got... This is a part of a beer keg, yeah? I cut this bit out and I turned it into a urinal. That's already gone the way of the dodo. And somebody's got it. I could just whack this round my stomach. And anybody that's coming at us with a weird little weapon fashioned or whatever, or an axe or something, they can't hurt us. But honestly, this thing, I mean, I know I'm fat, but this just makes us look fat. Just having this big round thing around my belly. Just, hey, how you do? And I still get heart shots and lung shots and all those things. All those important bits that I want to keep. I want my heart, I want my lungs. Happy days. So throw that away, I don't want that. What I do want is gas bottle. So this is the bit I've been using most recently. And I've been cutting out all my bits. And you know, there's bits of crossbow cut out of here. And all sorts of bits and bobs. Yeah. But I've also got this one. This was the front of the Spartan helmet. You know, you can see where the cheek came out, the eyes came out, and the nose came out. And all across the place, it's all the different bits. And then this bit's featured a few times. And that's hence you can see all the bits that I cut out. I've just got leftover scrap bits, yeah, and before I send them to the scrap man, I want to eke out every tiny square inch of the stuff that I possibly can. I've also went through my plate bin, and all these bits, I mean, I've got bits of shovel, bits of uh, checkered plate, and bits of gas bottle. Bring them all together, what do you got? you got a pile of scrap, bring them all together with a welder, a grinder, and a Mr. Captain Blood, and you've got a chest plate, fingers crossed, I haven't done it yet, but let's get it done. Build it. Let's do it. Let's work it. So I don't know how much of what you can see in the camera, yeah, but I'm just wearing a pair of shorts. Look, that's my leg. It is extraordinarily hot today, you know. I'm a big guy, I'm not used to the heat. It's been cold for quite a few number of months here in England. It's cold a lot. So the little bit of heat came out, and honestly, I'm boiling. Yeah, I've put my long sleeve uh, jumper on here. Because honestly, I don't want to burn my arms, but I'm, I'm suffering for it, you know. So I've got my shorts on, I've got a pair of trainers, let's try and not burn my legs. As long as I don't burn my legs or burn my toes or set my trainers on fire, I'm happy. Yeah. But before I can start making myself a, a chest plate, I need the steel off this, you know. I could measure all of these and put them into a little digital thing, or I could draw them and get all of them, cut them out of paper and put them together and be like, this is what I need to do to make a chest plate. Or I could just cut them all out, hammer them flat. Well, I'm not even going to hammer them flat. I'm just going to cut them out, put them on the workbench, and just see if it looks a bit like uh, a chest plate, you know? I know that I can fit into that. It's a tight squeeze, but I think this arch, 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 this curve, this curve would probably fit round us to a certain degree, especially if I open it up just that little bit. Yeah, so I'm just going to trust that the gas bottle is going to be kind to us and when I weld it together I'll be able to just flatten it out that bit more so that it fits around us quite nicely. So what I'm thinking is I quite like this cup. Yeah, where my apron is is quite nice. I mean it could come higher up, it could come a bit further out here. But I like it, you know, it doesn't get in my way. When I move, it moves with us. Yeah, so even if I make it this out of steel, it shouldn't get in my way. So I think I'm going to keep this sort of shape. Bring it down a bit, maybe have a, a bit here for my pecs and then a separate plate here. I could always just make upper armour, you know, just upper chest armour and then make a big belt that covers my belly. That would work, yeah, but I don't want too many separate pieces. I'll see what, what I get out of the materials that I have. If I can make the full sort of plate that comes down to hide my belly, happy days. If I can't, I can't. Let's just get it cut out, get all my bits on the bench and be happy, yeah. We'll get my safety goggles on, keep my gloves on, apron on, arms covered, get cut, should be plenty safe. Now I'm happy, if I'm plenty safe, I'm plenty happy.
So straight away, I think I've got me start. These were the bits that were cut off, which used to be against the cheat guards of the uh, the Spartan helmet, which I've got getting a nice patina right there. I think that's it. I'll go with that's it. Yeah, I'm not too great with the camera. But right here, bringing it up to here, you know, I don't want to do it extreme and just look like I've got a metal drawer. I mean, look at me. I'm Wasteland Barbie. Let's not do that, you know, just as a basis. Just touching them together, just ever so slightly. Bringing them in here, happy days. It's the start of the armor. Bringing it up a bit higher, you know. So I think the first thing to do is just flatten this off a bit. I don't want quite such an extreme point, but I'll flatten that off. Um, so that this part, I still want to keep the curve here. I quite like it, but just bring this round. Then I'll just start patching in from that down the middle. I mean, to start with, I need to find something. Because if I just put a well on that tiny little join there, that's not going to last five minutes. Especially with me hitting it with hammers and stuff. Yeah? So I think as a start, it's a good start. Let's go. Do it. Do it. So I don't know how much of this you can see, I mean I can, I can see in the uh, the camera that you can't see a great deal, but that's just what you're going to have to live with, because honestly I need to see it more importantly, I'd rather me see it and explain it to you and show you the finished product, than you be able to see me not get a finished product, because I haven't welded it right. Yeah, so I've got enough of the exposed steel where I've stripped it back to get some preliminary welds on, not all of the paint is gone from where I will be welding, but that's alright, there is a certain amount that as you weld close towards the paint, the paint burns off ahead of the weld, so it doesn't get involved in the weld, which is good. So I'm thinking it's apocalypse. If I was doing this to make it look all pretty and perfect with great welds, I wouldn't be using bits of gas bottle, because I wouldn't be making a wasteland uh, chest plate out of bits of gas bottle. So the fact it is wasteland, I think this is going to look quite well. I might get a few imperfections in my welds, I might get some big nasty ugly welds, but it'll work out all right. So I think if I weld all of this on, it'll give us enough structure to hammer this bit out in the centre to make it flat. And then I can put some welds back there as well. So I'm going to get that started. So this bit will be getting welded now. Uh, and I'll come back there and start piecing together the rest of the plate. Happy days.
Now I know what Damn, that welder's too straight and too perfect, too long to be on a wasteland piece, but we've got to get it right sometimes. Yeah, everything look like hell. Wouldn't be great, that little bit of good welding, bad welding, thick welding, thin welding, you know? That little bit that's got lumps all over it, holes burned through, it's what gives it character, yeah? Welding's not an art, I mean welding is an art, welders have got it down to a fine art. But when you're an amateur, a lot like me, I mean I've been getting better, but I'm still an amateur, you know, no one trained us to weld, I just picked up a welder and thought, let's give this a go, yeah? You get it right sometimes, you know, even if you're just, you know, throwing it into the wind, just, is this going to work, a proper Hail Mary? It works, every now and then you'll get that perfect weld. So this guy has got a perfect weld on there, I mean, let's expose it, maybe it's rubbish, but I've been getting better, you know, I can do a good weld, I think that's a really good weld. Underneath. Look at that. Where am I? Here. Not a bad weld. He got an alright weld in. Happy days. Good for him. Good for him. I mean, I don't like how much this bit dints in, so I'm just going to get it out. Yeah, so it's here, so it's there. Get a big hammer. Give it a wally of its life. Just bend it back out. Why am I doing this? I can lift that up and see. Yeah, so just give it a lot of hits with a big hammer. And it all comes out like that. And we are getting there. Yeah, I mean this already. No one's shotting me in my crown jewels. Shotting? Shooting. No one's going to shoot me in my crown jewels if I put this here. And to be fair, that would attach to a belt really quite nicely. I wouldn't want these sort of things under my belly, the way that it overhangs. So obviously, it's better up here. So I'm just going to bring that down even further, get me the rest of my scraps, weld it onto it. Happy days. So considering where I want this to come down to, this isn't a bad match for going straight up the middle. Yeah, so I'm just going to take a bit of that hole out of it. I want the bottom to stay curved, to fit around my belly quite snugly. I just want these top bits, these little prongs, flatten them out a bit, bring them up. When that sits on there, that's going to be the last of the overlap on the bottom. Yeah, because I'm thinking this is a last piece to tie it all in, everything else is going to be underneath so that you get that layout effect coming from the top, you know, with the exception of this one but that's what's going to bring it out, that's going to be the only piece apart from this, this is the fine, this is a detail part yeah, to bring it together, this is the only piece that's going to be on the top as you start at the top and head down, it's all going to be underneath welds yeah, all the welds will be on the top but the plates will be coming from underneath, you know, and it's just going to give it that flow. I don't want it jagged and here, there and everywhere. A certain amount of that's good, hence the this part. This part's obviously on the top. Top, next layer, next layer, down and down and down. So as you come down, weapons will glide down it instead of catching. Yeah, it's what you want, you know, those little details that you don't think you should add, that you don't think about adding, sorry, is what you should add. It's that next little detail, that next level of detail that will just tie everything together and make it look a bit more professional. I mean, I understand it's made out of scrap and welded together like a madman. If your welds don't look like they're done by an alcoholic in the apocalypse, should they be there? I mean, certainly there's going to be good welders in the apocalypse, but I'm thinking more like they're the military sort of clans. They're the more in control. They're the smarter, more organized people. My guy's just a scaver, yeah? He's scavenged bits and bobs, made his gear, and he's just getting by day to day sort of hunter-gatherer sort of lifestyle and scavenging for scrap. And nothing says I'm scavenging for scrap than wearing scrap. Happy days. Yeah, so I'm going to get this welded on, you know, I'm just going to flatten this, take the take a bit of paint off, weld it on, and keep moving.
So I've just taken a hammer to what I was going to use as cheap grapes, honestly, they're perfect. Yeah, and what they're perfect for is when you've got the test plate laid out, red side up, I can fill that entire gap just with these plates. Yeah, and I quite like the look of that. Yeah, quite like it. So I'm going to weld these in. It does mean that I'm not going to have my scrappy envision of including a bit of checkered plate, you know. Uh, I watch a, a YouTube channel, you know, it's another YouTube channel, it's a guy called Dimitri and it's, he's the nuclear snail, yeah, and he makes some crazy stuff, you know, he doesn't do any welding, he doesn't do any sort of like heavy metal work, any steel work that I've seen yet, he, he works a lot with uh, aluminium and uh, the thin, the thin steel pieces that you get at like hardware stores and stuff and he's like, he's a costume guy, yeah, and it's absolutely out of this world stuff, he makes brilliant stuff yeah, and he just pieces things together using aluminium, you know, he drills it, he uses a lot of uh, nuts and bolts to connect things together. I mean, I could, but then I'd have to buy nuts and bolts, whereas I already have all of the gear to weld, and I have steel, you know, I'm a steel worker, let's work steel. Um, and he does a lot of stuff. And I'm in one of his groups on Facebook, I don't know if he's got more groups, I'm in a group on Facebook that he runs, it's the Nuclear Snail Community, you know, top-notch stuff inspiration through the through the, the through the wazoo you know uh, absolutely loads of inspirational stuff gets posted there every day conversations do's don'ts things that are good to do things that are bad to do uh, and honestly like what to avoid to not look like a newbie you know so i'm not going to have any bottle caps on this because apparently that's quite frowned upon um and check that plate <laughs> You know, fake checkered plate gets used a lot, actual checkered plate might get used too. And just, I think it's a little bit of a running joke, you know. If you've got bottle caps on, uh, pull tabs, you know, from the top of a can, I don't have a can today. Uh, the, the pull tabs off cans to make like a chain mail sort of thing, all those sort of things. And it's just that sort of giggle that you get where it's just like, they're new. I don't want to do that, you know, I don't want to make my first outfit and people be like, you guy. You know, there might be a new guy because I'm using actual steel, so this is going to weigh a ton in comparison to people that can make this sort of thing that looks exactly like this. Out of AVA form or aluminium and the bolt it together and the glue it together and they can do these fake welds that look like it's welded together. All sorts of crazy stuff. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You know, I make things out of steel. I'm an adventuring in welding. Let's adventure in welding together. Yeah, so I'm going to do this, get this on. I really want to use my checker plate. It's just a tiny, tiny little off cut. I, w I just might stick it in somewhere, you know. I might stamp it, like put a name on it or a number on it or something and just attach it somewhere randomly. I want it. Maybe a different part of the armor. But I'm going to uh, grind these up so exactly where I need to so I'll be able to weld it properly. I'll get it welded on and we'll be about done. Then I'm going to look at decorating it. Yeah, decorations on post apocalyptic stuff. If people want to decorate stuff all over the globe, why not in the apocalypse? So I'll get back there.
there you have it. Yeah. So got my waistline chest piece, you know, I've got to do a bit of shaping. Uh, the welding, obviously, is I've moved it and moved it and bent it to get all the other bits. Digging into my shoulders, just that little bit, yeah. So it comes down here. We've got my belly here. <laughs> got my belly button. Comes down my belly button. I'm happy with it just sitting there. I'm not too bothered about my neck area. I've got a big beard that I want on show. For the chest plate itself, I want some decoration. Yeah, this might come off. I might just bring this up and round. I might not need the plate going up there. How about that? That looks quite nice. I might chop that off there. Yeah, only what you can see will be remaining. Why not? Let's do it. I'll do it later because as I see I want some decoration so I've had the bottom ring from the gas bulb. Yeah, this is the stand obviously would have the bowl in there. The bit that I've chopped off being this, I quite I enjoyed the idea of having a bit of a cuff about here sitting just like that. So I've marked it off, a little bit of a line. I'll just thicken that up before I show you guys, sorry. So there's my line. Get that chopped off like that so I can weld it on a bit angled about here and it'll just give us a bit of throat protection just there. My beard's still going to be visible because it's a beautiful beard. And do that and just under it, if you're a, a regular viewer of the channel you'll remember what this was, I talked about it in the video. Yeah, Getting that on underneath gives us this sort of sunburst effect, yeah? so if that's there and this is here, just connecting them. Happy days, I quite like the look of it, so I think we won't do that. How are you doing guys? So I've just put a strap on, a temporary strap. Obviously, like I said, I'd like to connect it from the back round to the front, crossing over my back and vice versa, crossing over my back there. But for the purposes of just seeing that it's done and having it able to hang on the wall, I've just uh, buckled myself this on. So I've got two nuts and bolts on either side, two bolts, nice nut on the front, nice washer, everything's done. Yeah. So I can hang that up in my shed and see that that's done. If it comes to a point where I need a picture, this will hold it on no problem. If I ever do want to do a live action role play, you know, the LARPing, or if I want to go to some sort of event, you know, there's big festivals all across Europe and America where they do these sort of things. I don't know if there's any in England, but I'd love to find out. Once Corona buggers off, maybe I'll go to one of those. Sport me new uh, chest plate. But I quite like it. It's very sturdy. It's very strong. And yeah, that, that'll, uh, that'll, that'd stop, this would stop my crossbow from shooting through it. And my crossbow's a mean piece of work, yeah. So this, hanging up, maybe I'll hang it on the side of my shed and wang some arrows at it. But I really don't want to break my arrows. Yeah, I've only got two and I've only made an extra one. So I've got three arrows. Let's not break them by shooting them at this. No way it's going through. I'm, I'm, I'm happy saying no way my arrows are going through this without my extra strong crossbow. So there you have it. Yeah, chest plate, a working, functional, decorative chest plate, yeah, and I love it, I just love it, you know, maybe I'll hang this at the back here, and that's where it'll live until I need it, 